Images are a great way to enrich your online learning content, but they do create some challenges. First, you need to find good, high quality images where you have permissions for use. You need to properly attribute those images, which is a legal requirement in Australian education. You need the ability to lay those images out relative to other on-screen content. And you need to be able to resize those images, not only as they're displayed on screen, but the underlying files themselves so that they are not overly large. Fortunately, there are sites like Pixabay that give away stunning free images, and their license is written in such a way that not only is image use encouraged, but permission is given by the copyright owner. That allows us to use the images, but then we need to do it in an appropriate way and give proper attribution. And this is where the Pixabay attribution helper comes into play. You see it here in my browser bar, and later in the recording, I'll show you how to add it to your own browser. But in essence, what it does is it takes whatever Pixabay image you have on screen. When you click on the attribution helper, it will display that image as a preview. And then it gives you a number of placeholder images with different layouts and positions of those images relative to the on-screen content. And what you can do now is to make a selection. In this case, I'm going to go for this right floated content. I can copy the embed code and I'll need that when I go over to Moodle. And I'm also going to download the appropriately sized, in this case, small image, so that I can then upload that into Moodle as a replacement to the placeholder. All right, so now I've got all the things I need. I can swap over to Moodle. Here I am, I'm editing a chapter of a book in this instance. The little bit of code snippet that I copied previously, I need to paste into here, but I need to specifically do it into the HTML editor view. So this HTML view may feel, look a little intimidating at first, but all you really need to do is decide where within it you want that image to exist. Now, in my case, I want it right at the top, so I'm going to make some space, and I'm going to paste in that code snippet from earlier. When I return to the WYSIWYG view, I now see a placeholder that allows me to upload that image, but importantly, the image is already aligned with the text appropriately, and it has its image attribution. So 80% of the work is already done at this point. All I now need to do is to replace this placeholder. I double click on it. I browse my computer and I go to wherever I might have previously downloaded that image and upload it. So let me quickly repeat that process one more time. I'm going to choose a different image now. Perhaps I might also choose a different size. So here's my selection. Click on Pixabay Attribution Helper. From the choices here, I might choose now, perhaps this full width version. So I'm good, I'm gonna copy the code. I'm gonna download the large image. I'll return to the editor, go back into HTML view, scroll down through the code. Perhaps I want the image inserted here now. So I'm gonna paste that in. Back to the WYSIWYG view. I can see the placeholder, double click onto that and upload the image. Of course, I've done that more rapidly the second time around, but it's just repeating the steps you saw me do earlier. So if I save that now, we'll see the finished product. This, of course, is what our students also see. So here's the first image, appropriately floated and resized so that it's right aligned. Here is the, the second image, this time full screen, but really critically, in each instance, the image attribution appropriately attributes back to the image source and location. So the only thing that remains now is to get this attribution helper into your own browser. To do that, visit the link that accompanies this video. Once here, follow the first time instructions. And importantly, and this is the only tricky part, you need to grab this Pixabay attribution maker holding it down, drag it up until it's inside your browser bookmark bar. So I've dropped it there. So now that I have the attribution in my browser, you can repeat the steps you saw me do earlier. Select an image, click on the attribution helper, choose your image size, and then follow the bouncing ball to add that to your Moodle course.